Welcome back everybody to 31 Horror Movies in 31 Days Halloween Movie Marathon. The movie that I watched today is called Spirit. And it follows a group of psychic investigators who go into a, an old house that's being ready to be torn down and they're investigating all the paranormal activity that's been had over the few, uh, past few years and what it is is that the house is supposedly haunted by its original owners um, who was into like witchcraft and uh, demons and all that stuff and um, the house is supposedly haunted by, by this particular person and so throughout the movie the investigators are searching for clues and information about the owner and the house and trying to find out if it truly is haunted and the uh, the movie actually has uh, a feel of like three different films combined. I thought I thought it felt like a mixture of not uh, not of the demons meets the Exorcist meets the Evil Dead. That's what it felt like to me. Um, but while these investigators are searching for all their clues and information, uh, they are getting possessed themselves by the actual spirit of this of this original owner, and. One by one, they're getting possessed and trying to attack and kill all the other um, members of the uh, of the team, and um, leading out to a battle between the actual demon um, himself that was resurrected. And I actually liked this movie. I thought it was pretty good. It was it was very very low budget, but a lot of fun. It, I think at one point every single person in this movie, except for maybe one, uh, one or two people, get possessed. <laughs> Still. What's the matter, Buffy? Cat got your tongue. Oh, thank God. Just a minute. Are you in the mood yet? And defeat it. It's too late to save them now, you pathetic fool. <laughs> Uh, it, I thought the effects were okay and, and well done and the acting isn't too good but it's still it's it's above what some of the other movies I've seen so I liked it I thought it was pretty good I this is one of the better movies that I've watched over this uh, marathon so far out of the seven days that I've had this uh, eight days whatever and um, I, I'd give this a recommendation um, now like I said like how everybody gets possessed but uh, leading up to the very end, when uh, two of the cast members or two of the, two of the investigating team is possessed and is chasing the other two investigators, uh, and they meet up with er um, uh, Eric Estrada. Um, I don't remember his character name, but he plays a priest, and he goes to the house to to help out, and um, he actually resurrects the the original demon, and um, they battle it out for a few moments, and he sprinkles a little bit of holy water on him and reads from the Bible and boom movie is done through this holy anointing may the Lord in his love and his mercy help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit Fuck you, Father. may the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up go forth Christian soul from this world in the name of God, the Almighty Father who created you, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, who suffered for you. I thought the movie was kind of rushed toward the end. And uh, I thought there could have been a little bit more of a battle between the demons and the uh, investigating team, or the main demon in the team. But uh, but all in all, I, th I thought it was a really really entertaining movie, um, a lot of fun to watch. So if you guys are interested in checking out a, a demon esque ghost possession movie, uh, check out Spirits. Uh, it was directed by Fred Olin Ray again, and um, he does a lot of low budget features. But I enjoy a little bit of them. So. But yes, thank you guys for watching uh, another review for uh, my 31 horror movies in 31 days Halloween movie marathon. Check back again tomorrow for another review.